Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to design post-tensioned concrete slabs with manual tendons in RAM concept. Before we get started modeling our post-tensioned concrete slab, let's first discuss a few of the benefits of using RAM concept for post-tensioned slab design. RAM concept will allow you to model tendons in their true positions. Banded, distributed, or arbitrary tendons with virtually any profile can be easily modeled. Tendons can be swept around openings and can terminate anywhere in the floor system. Tendon calculations, including friction calculations and elongations, will accurately consider horizontal and vertical curves. RAM Concepts Tendon Loading Analysis consider full 3D hyperstatic effects, including restraint from shear walls and stiff columns. These benefits would include accurately understanding the effects of the tendons in the slab, accurately predicting tendon stresses and elongations, determining tendon layout problems at design time instead of during construction, and it will save you some time by exporting a tendon layout plan. Within RAM concept, there are three major workflows that you have available to you for both modeling and designing your post-tension concrete slabs. The first option is to use manual tendons. With this workflow, you will manually model all of the post-tension tendons that exist in your concrete slab. The next workflow option is to use generated tendons. With this workflow, you will provide RAM concept with all of the necessary information to generate a post-tension plan for you. The last option would be the optimized tension, tendon workflow. With this workflow, you will allow RAM concept to create a post-tension tendon plan for you during the calculation. This is the only workflow that will not require you to model the post-tension system directly into the program. Now, although all three of these workflows are available to you, you may also find that you might want to combine one or two of these different options together for your overall workflow for your plan. Whether you're planning to model tendons, whether they be manual or generated tendons, you're going to start by navigating to the appropriate layer in RAM concept. Within the layers menu, you will find two separate groups of folders for latitude pre-stressing and longitude pre-stressing. And within each one of these folders, we have three different options. The first one is the tendon parameters layer. This will contain high-level post-tensioning objects that are used to generate individual tendons. Next, we have the generated tendon layer. This will contain individual tendons generated from the parameter objects on the tendon parameter layer. The generated individual tendons cannot be edited here, but they can be selected and copied to the manual tendon layer for further manipulation. And then finally, we have the manual tendon layer. This will contain the layout of the post-tensioning tendons and jacks of the structure that were manually modeled by the user. Now, tendons can be created by specifying objects in the tendon parameter layer, resulting in generated tendons on the generated tendon layer, or by drawing individual tendons directly on the manual tendon layer. When the calculation is performed, all tendons modeled on the generated and manual tendon layers will be considered. Now, if you plan to work directly into RAM concept by modeling your tendons explicitly, you do have a few options for doing this. The first option would be to create all of your tendon definitions on the tendon parameters layer. So if you prefer specifying all pre-stressing in RAM concept, and then allow the program to automatically generate the individual tendons for you, you may want to work just on the tendon parameters layer to model your post-tension plan. Alternatively to that, you could do all of your work on the manual tendon layer. So if you prefer to work with individual tendons for both design and production of the final tendon plans, you may work, want to work just with manual tendons. Manual tendons would also be a great option if you are designing an existing post-tension concrete slab. Your third option is to do a little bit of work in both your tendon parameters layer and your manual tendon layer. So you may prefer to specify most of your pre-stressing on the tendon parameters layers, but may want to supplement with isolated individual drawn tendons on the manual tendon layer. Again, all of the pre-stressing that is created through the generated tendon plan and the manual tendon plan will be considered during the calculation. 
In this course, we're going to be focusing on modeling and designing a post-tension system for the elevated slab that has already been provided in the data set for this course. If we took a look at the mesh input standard plan, we would see that we have a typical 12-inch concrete slab that is being supported by concrete columns and concrete beams. Within this slab, we also have slab openings, we have a pour strip, and two 10-inch slab depressions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.